of the Arduino software that you can download for free online at the site called arduino.cc. So as we noted in a previous video, video, there's essentially two parts to all Arduino programs. There's the setup function and the loop function right here. So in the case of the setup function here, we're not that's typically where you put anything that needs to be initialized before your program runs. And in this case here, we're not doing too much. We're just setting up the serial port at 9600 baud, as discussed in a previous video here. In the case of the loop statement here, we're just having the Arduino behave as a voltmeter. So we're defining a couple variables, one called A, one called V, and as we'll see, A is the raw analog input that we're just reading from A0 right here, which is where we have our photoresistor voltage divider connected. And V is what we're using in a simple formula here to convert that analog input from the raw analog to digital value, which can be a number between 0 and 1024 on the Arduino, to a voltage. So since we know that A can vary between 0 and 1024, we want to scale it first sort of as a fraction between 0 and 1, sort of like a percent, if you will, even though percentages are between 0 and 100. Then we just want to multiply that by 5 because 5 is the maximum voltage an Arduino can expect. And if we do that, then we have V will be the actual voltage that existed on the, on the midpoint in the photocell voltage divider, just like the number you'd read on a voltmeter. Then we just print it to the screen. So in order to use this, we have to sort of upload the code to the Arduino. And it's, you can sort of see it's doing something down here. There's a progress bar when that happens. And it's about done now. Now, we don't see anything happening, but as we mentioned before, this little icon up here is the serial monitor. When you click this, this window will open up that shows you all the numbers that are being communicated between the Arduino and your PC. And in this case here, the only communication is my printing of the voltage that the Arduino read from the voltage divider. So you can see at the current light levels, it's about 0.65 volts. Now, what I'm going to do now is start waving my hand over the photo cell. You see it goes up to about 1.4 volts or so. Here my hand is away from the photo cell down to half a volt. Here it is to about 1.5 again. So the, the light levels are kind of hard to control in the room, but I see the circuit, the Arduino, and indeed the numbers I see on my screen are dependent on light intensity. So I've sort of built a light intensity computer in front of me. Kind of neat. 